When you have a problem with your knee, you don't go look for a surgeon to fuse it. You need your knee. You know that it needs to be moving so that you can walk properly. The same thing goes for the spine. The spine's a bit more complicated than the knee, and the primary reason is there's three joints associated with every single level. Beyond that, there's also a spinal cord and nerve roots nearby, and when the joint goes bad, it starts to cause problems with the cord and with the nerves commonly. When the joint actually becomes arthritic or degenerated, the joint hypertrophies or overgrows. 50% of the time, it grows toward the spine and toward the nerves. So a lot of times when pe people show up with a problem with their neck, they're really showing up with a problem with their spinal cord or with the nerves. The spine surgeon is tasked not only with fixing the joint, but also relieving the problem of nerve or spinal cord compression. It's a little bit more complicated just for that reason. Traditionally, we approach that from a spine standpoint in just removing the joint, taking away all the, all the motion, taking away the problem. Now we have new techniques and thankfully new technologies to allow us to decompress the cord and the nerves, but maintain motion at the same time. If you don't have to take away motion or have to fuse the bones, you don't wanna do that. The body was built to move and take away the motion, we're gonna cause another problem. And that's what we've learned over time. When a person has a fusion, there's a high likelihood that they're gonna to have to have another one. If you're young, if you're healthy, even if you're older and you wanna maintain motion and reduce your risk of having to have another surgery, disc replacement is always the best option.